Hausmann test is one of the most commonly applied tests for the random effects assumption. Let's take a look at what Hausmann test, test does and what's the logic behind this test. Hausmann test is one of the three ways of testing the random effects assumption that we discuss in our organizational resource methods paper. So uh, the Hausmann test being the most common is listed as the first in the table and uh, then we have the likelihood ratio test and the F or WALD test. These two tests, the likelihood ratio test and the F test are based on estimating a model with the cluster means as controls and they directly test whether there is a contextual effect in the data or not. So they are based on, on directly testing the contextual effect and understanding the logic behind these tests is, is fairly straightforward if you understand the, house, the, the likelihood ratio test for model comparisons or the F and WALT test for multiple hypotheses. The logic of the Hausmann test is a bit different because it doesn't use the correlated random effects to estimate the, the contextual effects model. Instead, the Hausmann test e estimates or when you use the Hausmann test, you first estimate the GLS fixed effects model followed by the GLS random effects model and then you compare those two estimates. The um, matrix equation for Hausmann test looks like that, but it's more useful to look at this uh, for a single parameter case because it's easier to understand. So what you do here is that you compare the differences between two estimators. You have the fixed effects estimator which is assumed to be consistent and then you have the random effects estimator which is assumed to be efficient and you have the null hypothesis that the efficient estimator is also consistent. So the consistency of these two estimators guarantees that in large samples the between effects, the, the, the fixed effects and the random effects estimates will converge. So the difference between the fixed effects and random effects estimates will they, they will be the same when the sample size is large enough. But in practice there's always some differences between the fixed effects and the random effects estimator and we take the square of that difference and then we compare that difference against the difference in variances or squares of standard, uh, standard errors of these two estimates. The logic here is that this quantifies how much different the estimates can be expected to be because one of them is more efficient than the other one. So this quantifies the efficiency difference and the two estimates can differ for two reasons. One is that the FE is slightly less precise than the RE that causes some difference to the FE estimate and the RE estimate and another source of difference is that if the random effects estimator is actually not consistent then it will not converge to the fixed effects estimator which is consistent. And the Hausmann test basically asks, asks the question can this difference between the two estimates here be explained by the efficiency difference? If the difference between the two estimates is greater than what can be expected based on the efficiency difference then we conclude that efficiency, the difference in efficiency solely cannot explain the difference between the two estimates and then we conclude that the reason for the difference of the FE and RE estimate must be because the RE is not consistent for that particular scenario. So that's the idea. In large samples this gets small and this should get small as well if both are consistent and the difference uh, this equation here follows the chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom. And your statistical software will give you the, the, chi the, the value of the test statistic and also the p-value based on the chi-square distribution. Let's take a look at the example of how the Hausmann test is calculated. I'm going to use the same example I'm used before. So we have these uh, 15 different firms each observed 10 times and then we run a regression analysis for each firm separately. We can see that the effect on R&D on profitability is negative in the within a firm level and positive on, on the between firm level and uh, the, the the random effects assumption therefore doesn't hold 
because one of the ways to understand the random effects assumption is that the within effect and the between effect are the same. Then I run two regression models to do the Hausman test. I'm using the PLM package in R and this is the, the, the within model or the GLS fixed effects model. And uh, the output contains the model specification, the uh, residual statistics, estimates and then model indices as these R packages typically are present the results. Then the next thing that we do is that we run the, uh, the random effects model. So we have a model specification, then we have variance estimates uh, for the, uh, the variance components of the error term. We have residuals, estimates and indices. Let's compare these two estimates in a table. So I have actually five models. One is the normal regression model which ignores clustering. Then we have within firm centering, dummy variable and GLS fixed effects. These all produce the same estimate. So the standard error are not, are not going to be the same if we increase the precision. So, but they round out to be 0.07 in this case. Then we have the GLS random effects estimate. We can see from the plain eye that the GLS random effect estimate is quite different from the GLS fixed effects estimate. They have different signs. They are both highly significant but to the different way and uh, we would probably conclude even without a test that these both these estimators can be consistent at the same time because they're so far apart. But we can do the Hausman test calculation and um, the Hausman test we basically uh, take the fixed effect estimate 0.42 and we subtract the random effect estimate minus 0 .30, uh, 0 0.38. We raise that difference which is uh, 0 0.8 to the second power. It's 0 0.62 and then we take uh, the differences between the standard errors we are, which is 0 0.07 squared, 0 0.05 squared and uh, we get the value of 32 from that calculation. And uh, the expected value of chi-square with one degree of freedom is 1 and 32 is pretty far from 1. So the p-value is less than 0.001. And the Hausman test rejects the null hypothesis that the random effect assumption holds. So the idea in the, the Hausman test is that you uh, do the uh, GLS fixed effects model, you do the GLS random effects model, then you compare the estimates against the difference in the standard errors uh, or variances and if they are close then you conclude that both are consistent. If they are far apart then you conclude that the RE is inconsistent. In this case we would strongly conclude that the random effects model is not a consistent estimator for, for these data.